So this is the finished look with all the drugstore makeup right after I put it on. If you want to see the tutorial for this makeup, keep watching. And then I will be going outside and proceeding with my day. And we're going to see how long this makeup can stay on. And I'm going to do a review on drugstore products versus prestige products. So here we go. So I'm back home and I went on with pretty full day. Um, I just had CPR training. So I sat in a room, but I also moved around. I gave CPR. I was out and about. I drank a little bit of water, but I didn't eat anything. And now we're going to see, and that's relevant because of the lipstick, not just because I'm trying to give you my whole day. Also, I have proof from my Snapchat story that I posted um, Beauty by Brie doing drugstore makeup experiment at like 12.58 p.m. And you can also see on my phone that now it is 6.21. So it's been about five and a half hours, five hours, I don't know I'm bad at math, but it's been um, a pretty long time. So now I'm going to give you guys a review. So one of the first products I used was the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation and I usually use um, Too Faced Born This Way. Um, this costs about $12, Too Faced Born This Way is about $39 so it is a difference in price but um, I really do like the way that this goes on and my number if you're wondering or shade is Coco. <laughs> so um, it goes on very nicely but I can see, I don't know if you all can see, my freckles showing, which I like sometimes, but the point of me putting foundation on is that I'm covering up spots on my face, blemishes. I'm sure you saw in the video, I have a little bit of acne um, right now. So you want this to cover up, and so I would say that it does not last as long as my Too Faced Better Than Sex. but. Sometimes with Prestige, you are paying for a better product, but that's why we're doing this experiment, to see if you're paying for a better product. Um, also, I used the Wet n Wild 
Mega Glow Makeup Stick Concealer. Um, I would say that it looked really pretty going on. It applied so nicely. It's so smooth. Um, I used it for my under eye circles, if you remember. I mean, it is such a creamy kind of feel to it, and I really liked it. But, I mean, like, you can see, I mean, I'm tired, but, like, you can see the bags under my eyes, which I don't really think is good either. Um, so I think I'm going to stick to my prestige brand of concealer as well, which is the Naked um, Concealer from Urban Decay. But yeah, I just, I, I think it goes on nicely, but yet again, I think the day kind of took it off. Um, one thing that did last all day, I don't know if you can tell, is the matte lipstick. Um, the, this is Lip Paint. Um, I don't even know what brand it's from. It's just from Walgreens. But this stuff mixed with, I know you saw me mix it because it came on a little too light for me. It almost looked like I had like eaten like frosted donuts or something. I mixed it with NYX, which is also a drugstore brand. Um, and this was only $6 and this is I think about $7 or $8 um, for their matte lipstick. And it is still on. Also, I have the Kylie um, lip kits and because I love a matte lip because it doesn't go anywhere while you wear it. But um, I really, I, I like Kylie, but it does sometimes go on a little heavy. I'm sure if you have it, you know that if you put too much of the Kylie on, your lip will start flaking. I feel like the mix of these two is so soft, like my lips are not flaky. It stayed on, um, so definitely this is some good stuff. I like this one. Better than the foundation and the concealer so far. Another no that I did not like very much um, compared to my Prestige Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara is the Revlon Ultimate All-in-One. Um, a close-up of my eyelid. I don't know if you can tell. My eyelashes do not look long. They kind of clumped up. They kind of remind me of like a, like a like sticks. They're just, they don't look pretty. Um, the one thing that I did like about this brush though is it is so small. I think I could incorporate this with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and by putting on the Too Faced first and then applying this to like kind of get the small spots because the wand is so tiny and small so that is kind of nice but definitely not just by itself. Another product was the NYX Jumbo Eyeliner. Um, so on my top lids it was a little thick. I usually like a thinner line. I'm sure this isn't probably for your top lid but that's what I was using for my drugstore haul. Um, but I don't know if you can see this. I might need to turn off my light for you all to see this. Oh, I think that lighting is better. I don't know. The natural lighting versus the light. You'll have to comment below and let me know what you like better because I don't have a ring light like other YouTubers and I wish I did. But we got to work with what we got. So, um, it kind of like came down and fell on my face. Like I wanted to swipe this so badly off but I couldn't for the purpose of, of the experiment so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that now um, it definitely fell throughout the day on my under eye I was not crying or anything so there sh it shouldn't have fallen but on the top lid it still looks pretty nice and smooth but it is just a little bit thicker of a line than I would usually use but I do like NYX products usually and I would still use this sometimes Especially if you want more of a smudged eyeliner look compared to like a really precise line. Okay, second to last is the Rimmel Contour Kit. I did not use this highlighter nor did I use the blush. I just used the contour part of it. It's still definitely on my cheek, but it's not as defined as the Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I would probably say, oh, and I said second to last, but there's still two more products left. Eyeshadow and highlighter are left. But, it, I mean, it's alright. I definitely think I could mix it in again with my other products, but I don't know if I would use it by itself. I guess I've become kind of a makeup snob over the years, but I really do think that you get what you pay for. Um, I worked at Ulta. I worked with the drugstore products and with the prestige products at Ulta. And um, I think that you do have a lot of great products. I, I, a huge supporter of NYX for drugstore but I just think it depends on your skin and what look you're wanting to um, depending on how much you want to spend and your you know all that but I'm really just rambling so let's get back. Okay so the Revolution um, eyeshadow palette which has a lot of 
pretty natural colors and then some darker ones too. Um, I When I first got this, it was like buy one get one half off Revolution products, so I got it from Ulta and I got the Revolution baked highlighter. I love highlighters that much, but um, I also, but I didn't use that one today. But I got it because it was buy one get one half off, so I wanted to get the highlighter and then I was like, you know what, I have so many like prestige makeup palettes. Um, sitting in my little makeup desk like I don't have any that are drugstore palettes so why not give it a try so then I got it and then I and you can't swatch it because it comes in a box so I guess I threw away but it comes in a box so you can't swatch it because it's also that's a drugstore thing where you can't do swatches which is like putting the color on you before you buy it so I got home and I like stuck my finger in it and I was like this is not pigmented at all I don't want this I'm gonna return it but then I was like well, I'm going to do a video on drugstore products, so let me just give it a try. And I actually really, really like the eyeshadow. It, I put on a primer, of course, and it was a prestige primer. I used my eye insurance from Too Faced but before I used it. But I'm actually very, very surprised with, first off, how pigmented it actually showed up on my eye with the primer and the fact that it didn't fall off during the day. It still looks really good. So the eyeshadow is definitely revolution. Not Revlon, Revolution, definitely a yes um, for a dub for an expensive palette. Because I think it was about, maybe, oh hang on, I have my receipt right here. Oh, and here's the box. So it comes in a box like this, affirmation, and then you can see the colors on the back of the box, but you can't touch it. And I have my Ulta receipt right here, and it was buy one, get one half off. But it would have originally been $15, but I got it for $12.86. So it's a $15 palette that has most of the same colors as, you know, the majority of the palettes that I have here that are $50 palettes. So $15 versus $50. Okay, finally, lastly, for the products, dubs, um, experiment, challenge, whatever, um, is the highlight from Wet n Wild and I really only got this because it's beautiful it has a little mermaid on it and then it's so cute because it's a mermaid tail print and I don't know if you saw my face during the fast forwarded version of me putting it on but when I put this on I was like <gasps> because it was it's so beautiful going on and the expensive prestige um, highlighter that I usually use is the what's up benefit highlighter which is not a powder it's a cream and this stuff stays on all day. I will say that it, it may have faded just a little bit today. Um, definitely not, did not stay on. I don't think, I didn't set my face today, but I did moisturize before, so it should have locked in the foundation, the contour, and the concealer, and the highlight. And I'm really disappointed with the face stuff um, for drugstore. But it's beautiful going on. It is so pretty. It shines, and it's like, oh my like it's such a pretty highlight but it didn't stay on either but so in conclusion I would say that the lip great the highlight was beautiful but it didn't stay on as long as it should the eyeliner no 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 and the contour maybe the mascara maybe and um, the eyeshadow definitely a yes so that was my little fun Beauty by Brie drugstore experiment. I hope you all liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I'm sorry. And I'm going to try to make a plethora of videos for you guys to watch. So thank you for watching. And remember to be you, be beautiful. Hope you like my new backdrop. Beauty by Brie. Thanks, guys.